Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is set in the far-off distant future. As a result, it's full of cool futuristic technology like these adjustable spaceship windows. Though, why are these the only four options? It's probably because the future product engineers of the United Nations Space Alliance were saving all their really good technology for future military gadgets to save the soldier of tomorrow tons of time and hassle, such as the following. Multiple targets. Sneak is out. Copy that. How can we make grenades even more terrifying, an overexcited future weapons designer will ask themselves. Good question, a lazy future soldier will respond, and also how can we make it so I don't have to throw them anymore because I'm tired. Their answer was the Seeker, which is an unholy hybrid of a frag grenade and a robot spider. Yeah. Seeker grenades live up to their name by seeking out an enemy, crawling up their legs, arg, and then latching onto their face before detonating, which is presumably as much fun as it sounds. If you're ever targeted by a seeker yourself, the first thing to remember is not to panic. The second thing is to get that thing the hell off your face because ah. One of the main problems when trying to shoot bad guys is the fact they're always shooting back at you with their bullets and robot spiders. Makes it a right hassle. In these instances, an anti-gravity grenade can come in super handy. Just throw one of these at a group of bad guys and they will slip the surly bonds of Earth to go and float helplessly around about six feet off the floor, letting you pick them off like confused fish in a zero-g barrel. They're down. You sure? Look kind of up to me. You got feelings, Ethan? I do, Lieutenant. I do. I carry the brain of a human farmer. Holy shit, are you serious? No, man, not at all. <laughs> you got you, Lieutenant. Another neat bit of tech you'll find in the future is Advanced Tactical Humanoid Third Revision, E3N for short, Ethan to his friends. It's a mouthful. You ain't kidding. Call me Ethan, ma'am. Ethan is great to have around, not only because he's an incredibly durable robot with super strength, although that does come in handy. Oxygen depleted. But also because he has an artificial personality construct designed to integrate him quickly into any unit. What this means in practice is jokes. Lots of jokes. Ethan! What's the Navy's official policy for a gunfight? Send in the Marine! <laughs> <laughs> Classic Ethan. Sir, take this! What is it? Packing module! You can hijack a box view! Ethan isn't the only robot you'll encounter in Infinite Warfare, although he's certainly the friendliest. The others are mostly trying to kill you, which can be a problem thanks to all that incredible durability and super strength I mentioned earlier. That's where these hacking modules come in handy. If you have a hacking module, you can, with minimal fuss, take remote control of nearby robots, seeing through their eyes and triggering their self-destruct mechanism whenever you feel like it. Good in a group of bad guys, even better inside an enemy dropship. Maybe you should lose the self-destruct function for the next production run. Hey, designers of enemy robots. Yeah. Reward target marked. Roger, inbound the gun run. Force up! Towers at the top of the hill! Guns, guns, guns! If you're pinned down and outnumbered, you're going to want the UNSA Jackal on your side, which is like an Uber, but for murder. Just bring up the app on your forearm, designate some targets, and within seconds the Jackal will arrive and machine gun and rocket everything into oblivion. It's so simple. Shots out, shots out! Everyone. Remember to rate your Jackal pilot when you're done. Also, use my code when you sign up and we both get a discount. Raider to main, Lieutenant Salter and I need birds. Aye, sir. 3 2 will escort to your position. Solid chop. That's all right, Ethan. Of course, there's only so much watching other people fly cool spaceships you can do before you want to go yourself. Good thing, then, that the UNSA lets you have your own spaceship as well. Thanks, guys. You're the best. Target favor. Just as well, because when the antagonistic settlement defense front asks you to take it outside, they mean all the way outside of the Earth's atmosphere into space.
Luckily, our spaceship has boosters, guns, rockets that can lock on, and flares to deter enemy rockets aimed at you. Incoming missile! Incoming missile! Flares! Flares! They're launching scouters! It's also surprisingly manoeuvrable, so you should be able to handle whatever badge on snow can throw you up here. This place... ...isn't yours anymore. Unless he brought that wolf with him. I don't fancy seeing that floating towards me in the vacuum of space. If that cockpit seems a little cramped, don't worry. You can also get out of your spaceship and stretch your legs from time to time in zero-g combat sequences around much larger capital ships. Though you do have boosters to get around, a far quicker and more efficient way of doing things is to use your grappling hook, a handy spike on a rope that you could fire at enemies so you can close in on them instantly and do something really nasty to them. Right, like that. Or, yes, like that. Okay, that's enough now. Finally, future space soldiers will be supplied with Foam Wall, a tactical grenade that, when thrown, instantly bubbles up into a solid wall of hardened foam, creating cover on the fly. Despite our best efforts, we weren't able to get it to fully encase an enemy, but we're hoping to have mastered that by the end of the game so we can foam Jon Snow up and roll him down hills until we get bored and have him court-martialed. You know, classic Call of Duty ending. It is not enough to break free. We will break that! So those were eight cool gadgets that should make future war a breeze. Are you going to be picking up Infinite Warfare? Let us know in the comments and like and subscribe for more videos like this from outside Xbox. Thanks for watching.